H11 is a communication error code. Let's first go to the Panasonic air conditioning website. Scroll down until you find Mini Split and VRF resources. Then click on View Details. Under Mini Split Resources, locate the Manuals link and open it. For this example, I'll scroll down to the RE24 Service Manual and open it. This manual covers the RE9, 12, 18, and 24. It's common for a manual to have information for several models. Locate the H11 Troubleshooting and Flowchart section of the manual. First verify that you have good voltage and that all your wiring is correct and not broken or crossed. The last four boxes of the flowchart explain how and where to check for DC voltage to determine if the indoor or outdoor board is bad. At the outdoor unit, disconnect the interconnecting wire on terminal 3 and then measure the DC voltage between terminals 2 and 3. If the voltage does not fluctuate between 10 and 70, the outdoor board is bad. If the voltage is fluctuating, reconnect the wire and again measure the voltage between terminals 2 and 3. If the voltage does not fluctuate between 10 and 70, the indoor board is bad. If you determine which board is bad and simply change it, you may cause another board failure. A storm or power surge may have caused the board to fail, but it could also have been another component or shorted wire. Let's start by ohming all terminals to ground and each other. At the outdoor unit, unplug the reactor and ohm through it and also to ground. Verify all the misters are not open or shorted. Unplug the compressor and verify it is not open or shorted. To 100% know if a compressor windings are good, you need to use a mega ohmer. Unplug and ohm the fan motor. Unplug and ohm the reversing valve coil. Also check the coil for the electronic expansion valve. Ohm all the components on the indoor unit, including the louver and fan motors and thermistors. Be careful not to damage any plugs and make sure they are securely reconnected. Taking the time to check all components will keep you from having multiple board failures and callbacks, not to mention the frustration of the customer. This is a picture of an RE24 outdoor board. All components were checked except for the electronic expansion valve. As soon as the board was replaced and power turned on, it sparked and failed. The electronic expansion valve was shorted and immediately caused the new board to fail. This video shows the expansion valve being checked. Remember when you find a bad board, check all the wiring, check all components that plug into both the indoor and the outdoor circuit board. Remember to use a mega ohmer when you're checking the compressor and don't damage the connectors and make sure they are securely reconnected back onto the circuit board.